Man, I love this keyboard, but I kinda wish it was just a little bit slimmer, more air-like. I wonder. I got it. This is definitely gonna work. All right, I'm gonna put this thing in this bag right here. This is in here. I'm gonna put a few other ingredients. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of that air. We're gonna put a touch of low profile switches. We're gonna put a little bit of money. All right, for the moment of truth. As someone who's using Newfie's Halo 96 as their daily driver, you can imagine my excitement when I learned of the Air 96, which is like the low profile, slim version of its elder brother, the Halo 96. Naturally, I was curious to see if it can live to the same standards the Halo 96 set out, which I still believe is one of the best, if not the best pre-built keyboard you can buy in 2023. So naturally, I put it through all its tests and phases, and I made a comprehensive review for you guys so you can see exactly what the Air 96 is all about, what it got right, what could be better, and ultimately answer the question of whether or not it's the right one for you. In terms of packaging contents, Newfie's Air 96 comes in a very nice minimalist looking box. I love the simple branding, you have the design of the actual keyboard. Anyway, this slides open and inside you have yet another black box. Now over here you have a blueprint of the keyboard itself. Open this up and you're immediately greeted by some rather kinky looking stickers. Why am I not surprised? On the other side of this, you do have a quick start guide and some basic manuals as well. Now past that, you have the crown jewel, remove all that protective packaging and here it is, Newfie's Air 96 keyboard in the flesh. Past that, you do have a USB-A to USB-C charging cable and it's fully braided, which is super nice of course. You also have a key plucker tool because obviously this is a fully hot swappable keyboard. And then you have a couple of bags, one of which contains some extra keycaps in case you want to swap between the Windows and Mac OS keys. And then Newfie also provides you with a couple of spare switches so you can test out for, well, post-purchase customization. Now the Air 96 essentially comes in two distinct colors, which includes the gray variant and this ionic white color we have here. Personally, I love the white color because it allows for even more contrast. So the escape and enter keys with their contrasting keycaps look so nice and give this keyboard that aesthetical appeal we've come to love about Newfie. Given the fact this is a low profile keyboard, it is very petite and slim. It has an overall weight of just 1.5 pounds, making it super light, especially when compared to the much heavier Halo 96. Now it's also worth noting, you do have the same double shot PPT keycaps here that you find in the rest of Newfie's product, which means this keyboard is excellent when it comes to fingerprint resistance and it won't wear and tear the same way other keyboards do with moisture and oil stains. Now I also absolutely love the fact that you have a nice high quality metallic exterior frame on the top half of the keyboard, despite its rather light weight. And you'll also notice you still have two LED indicators, one on either corner, one for the cap locks, and the other one for the battery status. Now, the bottom side of the keyboard does have the same regular plastic build we see with a lot of the other keyboards. However, you do have this metal block in the middle and this is where the 4,000 milliamp hour battery is housed. Now, I'm glad the Air 96 has built-in height razors as opposed to those flimsy magnetic ones we saw with the Air 75. This is a huge improvement in terms of design. It's also worth noting, on the rear side is where you'll find all the switches to configure between various modes. So one of these switches is switched between Windows and Mac mode, while the other one allows you to switch between off, wired, and wireless mode. And yes, you have Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz connectivity. Now it's also worth noting, you have a USB-C charging port over here, and this is the same one you'd use to connect it in wired mode as well. Just like the rest of Newfie's keyboards, you have a full RGB spectrum when it comes to backlighting, and the best part is that you can configure all of these pre-installed settings directly from the keyboard that includes all the pre-installed lighting modes as well as of course the brightness settings. You can even to an extent configure the color or lighting settings on the LD indicator bars which is one of the more iconic features of the Air series. Now whenever I see this included with any keyboard I get really happy because that means there is hot swappability and the Air 96 is a fully hot swappable keyboard meaning you can take out every single individual 
individual keycap, but you can even go a step further than that because you can actually remove every single switch as well. And the best part is this thing is fully compatible with two pin Gateron switches. So there are plenty of customizable options. Another thing I really appreciate about Newfi is that they actually include a bunch of sample switches that you can get out of the box. So you can try out different settings and then you can order them directly from their website. So lots of customization options. Still here, I'm so happy to see that. If you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. It genuinely helps me grow and allows me to provide more future quality content just like this. Let's keep going. Now, one fair caveat I will give is that low profile switches are very fragile because of their small size. So you wanna be careful when you are plucking them out. Otherwise you run the risk of permanently damaging a switch, which of course is never a fun thing to do. So just be careful. Now, past that, in terms of the typing experience, over here we have the Eloy switches by Newfie. This is kind of their in-house switch in collaboration with Gateron, and it's the most linear of the bunch with a mere 37 GF, making it very lightweight and also relatively quiet. It does give a more hollow sounding effect, to be honest with you. Dampening isn't as good as some other low profile keyboards, but overall, it's still a pretty good sounding experience. Now, always keep in mind, if you want a more tactile or even clicky experience, you can always get some of the other switches they offer. They even have Gateron 2.0 low profile switches in case you want a far more clicky experience. Now, with that said, you're probably expecting some sort of sound test or typing test. I got you covered. Here it is. Now, one area that has seen dramatic improvements compared to the Air 75 is battery life because the Air 96, thanks to its larger body, has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery versus the 2,500 we had on the 75. And the result is that we easily can now get up to five to five and a half days of battery life, assuming a eight hour workday case with the backlightings consistently on at around 40% brightness. However, if you keep backlighting entirely turned off, you can easily get nearly up to one month's worth of usage with the same eight hour per day work case, which is a dramatic improvement compared to the Air 75. It's also worth noting in terms of connectivity, you have a number of options, like I mentioned earlier. So you have a wireless 2.4 gigahertz USB-A dongle, which you can connect to any Mac or Windows device, or you can use the built-in Bluetooth 5 connector and have up to four distinct Bluetooth profiles, which by the way also works on iOS and Android as well. One more thing I want to mention is that you can also get this really cool looking optional wrist rest. Just like the Hill 96, it has a acrylic finish, a hard surface. And if you don't like the sharp edges of the keyboard touching your wrist, it really helps soften that impact. Plus it really complements the keyboard nicely and is a nice addition. But again, this is an entirely optional piece that does not come with the standard packaging. With a starting price of 120 US dollars going all the way up to 130, depending on the switch configuration, this is not a cheap keyboard. And Ufi is definitely inching closer and closer to premium segment prices, which of course is a phenomenon that happens with any successful brand. Now, with that said, you are still getting a lot of value in return. You have a nice petite form factor with that high quality metallic exterior frame. On top of that, this is a 96% keyboard. So you do get that 10 keypad. Now, as a result, it's a little bit wider than the Air 75, but it's still super light with 1.5 pounds of weight, so it's easy to carry around. Plus, you have those high quality double shot PBT keycaps, which not only look really nice in typical Newfie fashion, but also have practical purposes like being fingerprint and moisture resistant. Additionally, I appreciate the fact that you have a much larger battery with this model, which allows for more long term usage without having to charge it frequently. And you have plenty of connectivity options to get go as well. Now the Air 96 is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. There have to be some specific criteria that have to sit right with you for you to appreciate this keyboard. For example, you must enjoy low profile or triplet styled keyboards, which often means less key travel. And you also should have a knack for, let's say a more hollow sounding typing experience versus a more sharp one, which again comes down to preference. And finally, you have to be in for 96% keyboards as this is a fairly wide size keyboard despite its small form factor. Otherwise you may want to consider the Air 75 
35. But if those three things sound like they appeal to you, this is definitely one of the better options to get in the low profile market. And trust me when I say there aren't that many low profile keyboards to begin with. So I can definitely vouch for the Air 96 in that capacity. In any case, let me know what you think of this fancy looking keyboard, whether you're gonna get one if you have one, how your experience has been. I'd love to hear all about it. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subbing to this channel and liking this video. It genuinely helps me grow. Catch you in the next one.